Rachel Satterly has spent little time outside of her home in Baton Rouge since mid-March, but is expecting to deliver her second baby Friday, April 17th. So this is kind of our extra special rainbow baby. So we were, you know, very excited for all of our friends and family to come. And we also didn't find out the gender for this baby, so we have no idea. So that was kind of going to be the big moment. But it's a bit bittersweet as Women's Hospital and others across the state are limiting expected moms to just one person with them during delivery, forcing Rachel to change up her plans. Just, and I know it's killing my in laws that are up in North Carolina. It's their 10th grandbaby to not be here. They always commit two weeks to come down and help out and be there for the new mom. So I'm already missing their cooking. That would have happened. <laughs> As part of the new normal, women's hospital doctor R. Clifton Moore says they're spending less time with patients in the office and more time with some of them online. Uh, in our offices, we're providing more of a telemedicine experience for the patient as opposed to. Uh, going into each room. New Lafayette mom Brittany Boatner recently gave birth to her preemie baby Jacob. She says with an already compromised immune system, she's even more cautious. The people that are germaphobes beforehand, they already had it locked down. But for, you know, anybody that wasn't consistently, you know, doing that on a regular, this is a heightened game. And as far as us being a NICU family now, it's definitely a heightened game for us. Brittany says she's looking forward to the day when she's able to wrap her arms around her new bundle of joy.